the first one is the one that will be used to uh, create the shape and the second one will be the path as you can see here at the moment this looks like a kind of seashell uh, horrible if I go back to this if I hit Q to temporarily uh, it will disable the kind of uh, object if I hit Q again it will bring it back if I go here select my circle select my scale tool once again we're going to scale it down and then hit Q again and we'll see that because we have scaled down the original spline uh, this is also being affected and you can do it on the fly I just press Q to um, to show you more what was going on and so that's a great way of creating coils and and whatnot. Moving on this oof, this menu is really really cool um, oh this the, I could just make a lesson on this menu um, this menu basically is miscellaneous uh, cool objects it's literally a case of um, if I were you just playing around with that menu this is the symmetry object if I drop drop my uh, no I've done that the wrong way around sorry have I? I always get confused no sorry that's wrong uh, I drop my cube into my symmetry object move my cube there we go and we have um, two cubes and um, the more they're being reflected along the middle axis once again you can uh, change the plane here and stuff but uh, the beauty of this is if you are modeling any kind of um, item uh, you only have to do half of it as long as you line your the middle kind of the middle of your object that you are modeling alongside the middle axis you can basically only save yourself having to do half the jobs if you're modeling a car for example you'd only have to model half the car and then you can uh, collapse this later on so that's a really cool really cool uh, sphere let's show you metaballs which are always fun let's drag the sphere into here if I hold control on any item up here in the object menu and drag you'll see this little plus icon and if I let go I have duplicated that so we now have two spheres I have my move tool selected if I move one of these and you can see what's going on here dynamically if I right click um, if you've seen my demo reel I created something in a kind of similar way to this and as you can see you just have to move things in and out and what the meta ball will do is create a kind of mesh in between your shapes and you can have as many shapes in here as you want they don't even have to be spheres let's, let's just chuck a cylinder in there for fun funsies and while we are creating a monstrous kind of blob here and as you can see it's if I hit command R it's very kind of blocky down here so if we select the meta ball and um, drop our subdivision down we're getting more detail which is also smoothing our kind of geometry out and now we have an extremely fat calf with a boot yep that's what that is okay uh, moving on because we are I am really like I say so much to do here there's the boolean kind of cuts objects out of other objects which is uh, really useful um, let's, let's do one of them we have a, a cube and a circle and let's not in there. Select ball, let's drop the cube and the sphere into the hierarchy. And now if I um zoom in it might look like nothing's happened. If I hit Command R, we see there's now a hole in the shape of um our sphere. I can move this sphere, I can move it up if I want. And hit Command R again. And as you can see I've cut one R the other. And that can come in so useful. Here I have A subtract B, you can have, uh, if I swap these around, if I put the sphere above the cube, we're going to be doing this in the opposite way. We now have the cube cutting out of the, and we have Pac-Man. Um, so before I get sued, I'm going to close that. Um, <sighs> moving on, moving on. Uh, this is the lights menu. So, as, as I told you, or kind of touched on earlier, uh, when you hit Command R, we have 
this spot represents if we go up to render render settings we have something called um, in the options an auto light and this by generally just make sure that when you hit command R you will always be able to see the object in here if I uh, turn auto light off and render I won't be able to see anything because there's now no light now I can create a light myself by going up here to light and if I hit command R nothing appears to have happened that's because the light is uh, still in the middle of the object if I move it up it's represented by this little uh, kind of don't even know what that looks like and now as you can see we have a more natural lighting solution uh, if I control drag out here let's uh, create some slightly more interesting lighting like I said earlier if you drag one of these bands it will use this and this in this case so I'm dragging down and towards if I drag this one I'll drag up and right so if you want to isolate uh, one of your moves as you can see from here I have better view from the, this is a top down of what I'm doing and so um, now we have it lighting from the bottom and the top and uh, just like any of the functions that I've been explaining here there is so much we can do um, we can change the color of the light to red maybe so the bottom light is red and now we have a red and white um, by default shadows are off and this is represented by the little arrows being white if I go down to shadow and click um, soft you can see they've gone black now and that represents that there will be shadows now the scene I have set up here probably won't uh, allow me to see any so I'm going to create maybe a plane up here and if I rotate around hit command R it's not perfect but you can see that the ball is casting a shadow and there are different types of shadows area uh, ray traced these are kind of more more vivid shadows um, yeah and once again you know you have options out your eye here lens flares if you want to add those I don't recommend it uh, you can add noise you can make your light um, visible if you click here visible and can you see now we have a basic glow from the area where the light is so yeah okay let's turn uh, shadows off and get rid of this plane and turn the visibility off as well it refuses to die okay uh, moving on moving on so we have light here if you want to create an, a flaw an infinite flaw it's as simple as selecting that now although this appears as only a small area here if I go to render you will see this floor goes off infinitely and uh, that obviously has obvious uses um, if you want to create just a small floor you could fake it with a plane just move it down here and obviously that floor will only be as big as the plane uh, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else I need here uh, you can create cameras uh, a sky object allows you to, if you have HDR maps, basically if I drop this in by default you'll see everything's gone grey. What this is in fact doing is filling the whole free It's basically creating a massive circle and what you are seeing here is the inside of a circle and uh, I'll come back to that later actually. Um, but yeah, okay we have our, our basic lying here, red light, white light. Uh, you can create cameras uh, now cameras by default are off until you click this little thing here and now this view up here if I go here and select you can see my camera is ticked and now if let's uh, zoom out in this top view you'll see that if I move my camera it is affecting what is up, what is happening over here and uh, if I uncheck that now when I move my camera you'll see that it is not linked to this viewport we've just gone back to a basic perspective so that's how you use cameras obviously there's once again so many different options to mess around with 
that's your kind of um, field of view. Now you've seen I've because my lens is so wide, uh, you can give give this um, ball the the kind of look that it's like an, an egg maybe. Um, yeah, that's cameras. Uh, lastly, but by no means, no, it's not lastly. In fact, um, these are the deformers. Now, deformers are once again massively awesome, but massively um, in need of p being played with. Um, if I drop this into the sphere, the bend. Uh, for deformers, you always have to drop them inside the object you want to deform. As you saw earlier when I was using these things, uh, I had to drop the kind of object into them. Um, in this case, you have to drop the deformer into your object. And then we come down here, and as you can see, you know, wow, I'm bending this. And once again, you can bend it on a different axis. So, woo, it's kind of uh, a raving egg there. <laughs> Let's delete that deformer. Uh, the explosion is cool. I don't need to tell you what this do. As we increase the strength, we are going to shatter our object. Look at that, we now have confetti. So, yeah. Um, you can change the end size. You can make these pieces bigger as they go out. Which looks weird, if I'm being honest. Um, the speed at which it explodes. So pieces will go further. Etc, etc. Um, we have explosion effects, which is kind of similar, but uh if you move this in and out it will only affect the areas kind of determined by these um circles and the object will in fact break into uh little pieces of geometry that are defined by how you modeled your object which obviously has its uses you can have a, a kind of reverse shutter by having this thing or just having it disappear and then come back and once again this has you know, a whole bunch of options here. Explosion, clusters, how how big the pieces are. Uh, the gravity, if you leave this, so how far the pieces will fall down. The rotation of the pieces, you know. Shit's crazy, man. Yeah, cool. Uh, are there any more that I need to cover? To be honest, you're best off just going in and playing with these. Uh, a lot of these are fairly self-explanatory, the, the twist, the bulge. Uh, yeah, let's move on because I am waffling. Emitters. Emitters are cool. Um, I'm going to delete these by shift selecting. And emitters basically create particles, as uh, you will be familiar with. If you've been playing with them in After Effects, well, this is Cinema's kind of go at it. Ah, what an idiot. Okay, so if I um, scale this call down, call down, once again, I can hit Q kind of um, hide what's going on and I'm going to scale this down and now we have hit Q again bunch of uh, particles firing out of this and they look like I don't know cones oh yeah cone I'm a genius and as, y as you can see if I drag along this this is the timeline, just like the After Effects timeline. The further you drag along, the further in time we are going across, and I'll come to that a bit later on. But uh, just know that the emitter, if we go back into here, you can add uh, oof, so many things. Let's add, uh, let's add gravity. If I drop this into here, we'll see that the gravity is now going to make these drop down. <laughs> brilliant and uh, you can add oh so many deflectors